Howdy, howdy. Cody here with Creation Outdoors. If it's your first time checking out the channel, welcome. Or welcome back if you've seen some other videos of ours. Just finishing up an arrow build for one of my good friends. And I figured I'd talk a little bit about it because, one, tis the season. We're getting pretty close. We're into August. Uh, seasons are opening up here shortly and two there's a lot of there's a lot of information out there about arrows these days and so uh why not jump on the bandwagon right um not quite i think there's a lot of misinformation to use a kind of trigger word about arrows out there and so just wanted to give my two cents uh and talk about why i build what some people maybe probably consider the worst arrows, um, but that's why I think they're the best. So just putting the last vein on these arrows and then we'll talk through what we got going on. Just make sure everything's seated down properly. Give it a little extra second. Pull it out and so that's what we got so as you can see we've got a four fletch uh, left helical and these are AAE hybrid veins I really like these veins pretty low profile um, so we're not really worried about catching on anything not really worried about any contact but it's enough to steer a broadhead um, I put these on an arrow wrap just because for me it's always easiest to change veins when they're on a wrap, uh, which I do uh, relatively often. These are from one stringer, and then the rest of the components here are from Easton. So we have an Easton Axis 5mm carbon arrow, that's their x knock, and in the business end I actually have brass insert. So Easton makes these hit inserts. Uh, these can be 75 grains if you leave that little tab on, but if you break it off, it's 50. So I've actually broken these off for my friend. So 50 grains uh, in the insert. It's a 30 and a half inch arrow. He's been blessed with uh, height, which I'm envious of. And so total weight when we put a 100 grain fuel point in is 545 grains and 12% FOC. So it's uh, not very heavy in the grand scheme of things. It's not very light in the grand scheme of things. It's not extreme FOC. And so it's the worst of all of the worlds. Um, but again, that's why I think it's the best. So this is very similar to uh, the arrows that I build for myself. I'm just a little bit shorter draw, so mine end up being about 505 and they work right it's it's all in moderation it's a balance it's a balance of enough weight to really get that momentum uh, up but you're maintaining enough speed your kinetic energy is fine and from my experience uh a couple of seasons back uh, i i punched through the shoulder of a of a whitetail buck here in iowa on public land so no reason for me to change but I'm also carrying enough speed that allows me to shoot at total archery challenge events uh, and get out there in distance. And shooting at an arrow heavy, so heavy that one yard difference, if you're off on your range, is like four or five inches of difference in drop. I'm not sure why folks would want to do that. So again, balance. Um, those who know me best know that I'm kind of a, an old soul. And so uh, what's, what's wrong with a little bit of moderation? We don't need to be laying on the extremes, and so I think this is uh, this is really what's going to work. I forgot to mention these are 260 spine again, just because of the weight up front and how long of a draw this individual is. Um, I think that's what we're looking at for spine. So, if you have any questions uh, about any arrow builds, uh, any comments, any arguments, I'd love to hear them. Uh, leave a comment below. And um, I'm looking forward to season 
I just wanted to make this quick video just to share some of my thoughts. And if you wanted to see a more comprehensive aero build, uh, I actually have a, a video for that that I made uh, a little while ago, but I'll link that in the description below. It'll go through all of the components here. I use AAE products because that's the veins that I use. So I'm going to use what they <laughs> suggest in a Bits and Burger fletching jig, and it seemed to work well for me so far. Um, again, any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll make sure to answer them. And other than that, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the woods soon.